Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Persico asked a question earlier, and I captured it in my fancy little browser add-on. I used Maxton, the web browser, uh, M-A-X-T-H-O-N, and it's got this collection tool. I just copy and paste text in there. Uh, he asked a question not related to that, but do you have any suggestions for software firewalls besides Windows Firewall? Well, uh, <laughs> this one, uh, if you had already seen the, uh, the stream, already throwing in its own suggestions uh, someone was recommending uninstalling Windows uh, as uh, making or finding a, a better Windows firewall my recommendation is not to to use Windows Live OneCare uh, or whatever they're calling it these days uh, largely because it was found to have uh, quite a few flaws in terms of spyware detection and specifically holes in the actual firewall years ago I uh, used to recommend a product called uh, Agnitium firewall if that's how you pronounce it never found out um, someone, uh, someone recommends still Zone Alarm uh, as, a, as a classic favorite. Uh, a lot of people, uh, oh, apparently I mispronounced it, I'm sorry, Persico, 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 okay, there we go, I'm sorry. I apologize for mispronouncing your, your, your handle, it happens to me all the time. So, <laughs> any old way, uh, if you're not uh, running any kind of firewall, you're really leaving yourself at risk. Now, some people would go and recommend semantics firewall um, in terms of keeping yourself protected from all those outside intruders, and that's exactly what a firewall does. And again, I'm saying this, and I assume that everybody knows what a firewall is, but not everybody does. Essentially, when you're online, uh, you are in the world, and you are connected to this global network of computers, and sometimes you may have a, a, a being a, being a place uh, online where someone's going to want to get into your computer or put something on your computer and then uh, from there do God knows what whether it's using your computer to send out spam messages or uh, whether it's using your computer as a, a what they call a zombie uh, to process other things uh, or just generally being malicious and eliminating data and stealing your bank records it, it all is possible the likelihood of it happening is is still pretty strong uh, you'd be surprised that even as far as the operating systems have evolved uh, not having some kind of firewall in place is really leaving yourself open to attack uh, in many ways it's kinda like walking down a dark alley um, with your fifty dollar bills hanging out of your pocket I mean is that all that secure probably not and being online without some kind of protection is equally as silly um, so uh, there the, the windows does come with a default firewall that does that does a, a fair job. It doesn't do an excellent job. If you definitely want more power, uh, some people have gone as far as to recommend. I think it's Webroot is a classic uh, firewall that has certainly gained some amount of attention. Uh, some people recommend Panda. Uh, there we go, and that was from Insurgent. I keep rooting for them, but their software just always seem to have problems. Sunbelt Cario Personal Firewall. I've heard good things about them as well. Stay away from Panda Sauce Firewall. That's what Lord Cat says. Sygate. Again, a lot of good recommendations. Now, the, the thing about firewalls is that you know there are new forms of attack uh, every day. Uh, you never know. Norton, there's a recommendation. Uh, in 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 that sense, you know you're only as good as what the firewalls knows is good or bad. And for this reason, you know, trying a variety of firewalls is a good idea. But trying a variety of firewalls at the same time is not a very good idea. It, why? Well, think about it like, uh, let's see here, well, we'll go back to the analogy of walking down the alley with $50 bills hanging out of your pocket. Um, if you had, uh, okay, uh, well, well, l l I'm, I'm trying to think about how to, how to word this the right way that I'm not going to paint myself into a corner. Uh, let's say you had uh, uh, two people telling you what to do. It, would it be easy to listen to both people at the same time? Probably not. Whereas if you're listening to one person, ah, okay, you're telling me what to do, this is what I do. This is kind of the same thing with software that's trying to do the same thing. Having two things running at the same time can actually hurt you and not help you. Um, so there's a variety of recommendations that, uh, of course, keep, keep coming through. Uh, the key is, is finding the right package that is going to be proactive enough so that if something new happens, you're kind of already protected. Uh, now, running a firewall is recommended uh, at, at, its, at its core. Uh, say Zone Alarm Suite. Okay, there we go. Zone Alarm Suite, I said it. 
Uh, but having having one running is important. Having two running is just you're you're asking for for more problems than you are not running a firewall at all. Keep yourself protected, no matter what operating system you're running, whether it's uh, Windows, OS 10, or Linux. I mean, you're on the internet. You you are open. You are potentially uh, vulnerable of having your data sniffed and shared and and whatnot. Um, but find find a package that works for you, that, the features that you appreciate, uh, features that don't necessarily dog your system or make your system slower. And by all means, you know, um, if your system is running slow with a firewall, don't uninstall the firewall. Get a faster system. Uh, it's it's that is my recommendation. And I realize, well, you're saying that I have to upgrade my system if it's too slow. Yeah, because if you're not protecting yourself, you're you're really uh, you're really asking for for. For, for potential headaches. I mean, not just spyware, but just um, nefarious attacks from people who are online that don't know who you are and just want to use your connection to the internet to do random things, or maybe they feel malicious. So, those are our recommendations uh, for firewalls. Uh, what about anybody else out there?